Hey Portland, this is Yuri with the Portland Pick. I'm hanging out here with Mike. He is the owner of Eastburn. We're, we're going to talk about the Brewfest that they've been having for a couple of years now. But first, Mike, can you tell me the story of Eastburn and what, why, why you wanted to turn this into a, a restaurant slash venue slash bar? Well, um, it's kind of the genesis of uh, my, my brother and I uh, talking about it for a long time uh, and uh, finally made it happen after many, many years. Um, opened up in January of 08, so we just celebrated our five-year anniversary. Wow, five and, years. Uh, it's gone by pretty fast. Yeah. So the Brewfest, what's the story behind the the Buckman, Buckman Kearns Brewfest? Why do you want to make a Brewfest? Well, <clears throat> when we... When we first opened up, our, our focus was definitely going to be craft beer. Uh, being in Portland, we have uh, a plethora of, of uh, craft breweries. Yeah. We quickly noticed that there was a lot of breweries starting to open up here in Southeast, and so many were just a, a stone's throw away that uh, after we got about five or six in the neighborhood, we thought, well, you know, that's enough for a, you know, a mini brew fest. And so first year, it started as sort of a, a smaller affair, uh, and we've grown it. This will be the third year that we're doing it. Okay. Uh, we now have eight breweries in the neighborhood, including uh, Base Camp brewing which is the the newest edition okay and uh so we're really looking forward to this year being the the biggest and best one yet yeah that's that's awesome so can you, can you, can you kind of describe what brewfest is all about when when it happens Cause, i mean there is the oregon brewers festival that's huge it's a huge brewers festival right this is a small scale this is uh, at East Burn. Uh, yes what's this, it like this, this is definitely the more of a, a micro brew fest on yeah the, on the grand <laughs> scheme of things i suppose uh but it's because it's smaller uh you'll find that there's at this brew fest it's not just volunteers that don't know anything about the beer that's pouring it. The brewers will actually be here. Oh, yeah. uh, most of them will awesome. be, be back there pouring the beer. And that's what the people really like about the Buckman Kearns Brewfest. It's very much a neighborhood uh, affair, and uh, it's a it's a good chance for the brewers to all get together, seeing is how we are all neighbors. Yeah. It's a chance for them to hang out and for the neighbors for their, uh, in the Buckman Kearns neighborhood to, to come out and meet each other and get a chance to meet some of the uh, the business owners in the neighborhood. How, how packed does it get? I mean, from noon to eight, how packed does it get? You get well, a come through we're hoping for at least a thousand people this a year thousand people well over the course of uh, eight hours it goes from noon to 8 p.m and after that we'll have uh, live music okay uh, going until all hours of the night is so. it just beer noon to eight or what else, what other activities are happening well uh, the kitchen will certainly be serving up uh, plenty of good food tomorrow okay but um, well, live music uh, we'll actually have some live music starting at seven but uh, really it's just a, a full day of just getting to interact with the Brewers themselves okay. and hanging out and getting to try some some really really good beers. Okay. Um, most breweries will have an IPA represented, you know, being Portland, so people yeah. can get to try at least one IPA, and then they'll have two other varieties of their beers uh, that they'll have uh, selections of. Okay. And, uh, so. so What's what's the how do people get into to the, the Eastern Brew Fest? Do we just show up and do our thing? Or? Yep, you can just show up, and uh, we didn't really pre-sell any tickets, so just show up. Tickets are available at the door. Fifteen bucks, uh, fifteen dollars gets you in, gets you an actual real pint glass, okay. uh, a nice Buck McCurns Brew Fest pint glass. Oh wow, custom uh, pint glass too. Yes, yeah, sure. That's awesome. all the breweries listed on it, and uh, so that'll be the 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 glass for the for the Brew Fest, and we'll be doing uh, four different size pours. One ticket gets you a, a four ounce, four four tickets up to a full. Pint. Okay. So, how so, many how many tickets come in the first? So uh, fifteen dollars gets you the pint glass, and you get four tickets. Four tickets. Yep. So basically, a, a glass and a beer to start you off, and just get more tickets and Absolutely. Keep, keep drinking. Yep. And so, what's your goal with this brew fest? Do you, are you going to keep it small in in we wanna, East Burner? We want to keep it small, and the goal has really just been it's all about the breweries. Uh, we change out our taps daily. Uh, we've always been all about the beer, and we don't have any one tap handle that lasts for really any more than one keg. Yeah. But <clears throat> we love our local breweries. And we really wanted it to be their brew fest. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them, when they started out, they were a little bit too small to participate in some of the bigger brew fests. So we felt like this was a way to get them some attention yeah, and uh, some some much much deserved credit. Um, last question I do, I do want to ask. Uh, actually, am I missing anything about brew fest that you want to talk about? Um, not at all. Just hope everybody can make it down and okay. uh, come over to the Buckman Kearns neighborhood, coolest neighborhoods in Portland, yeah, and, and if, uh, meet some brewers. You miss if you miss this year, it's happening again next year. That's right. And every year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where can we find you online? www.theeastburn.com. All the details for the Brewfest will be on there. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and check out the food menu. is amazing. Cheers. Every time, every time I come here, I eat it's amazing. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, Mike. Thank um, you. Once again, for more information, you can visit uh, www.theeastburn.com. Cool. Thanks, guys.